Welcome to the Game Week 35 team selection, and it's finally time to activate the free hit chip. But before that, we'll take a quick look at how Double Game Week 34 is going so far, with all 15 players set to potentially feature for a second game. Manchester United suffered a surprise 1-0 defeat to West Brom, seeing David De Gea lose his clean sheet, while denying the baggies on three occasions to earn a save point. Brighton's Matt Ryan conceded three goals during the defeat to Crystal Palace, but managed to pull off four saves to earn an extra point. There hasn't been a single clean sheet amongst the five defenders so far. In fact, only Huddersfield, Liverpool and West Brom have kept out their opponents in game week 34, as things stand. Marcus Alonso set up Giroud's first goal against Southampton, but the Spaniard could face retrospective action for a reckless challenge on Shane Long. The double Burnley defence of Lauten and Tarkovsky came close to a clean sheet, riding out several chances from Mahrez and Vardy before the latter pulled one back, with just under 20 minutes remaining. The Spurs midfielders were quiet against Man City. Neither Deli Ali nor Hyung Min Son could find an effort on target during the 3-1 defeat. The latter only made a 26-minute cameo, but now looks in line for a start against Brighton. Riyad Mahrez was the closest to finding a goal amongst the midfielders. He hit two of his three efforts on target against Burnley, including a header from close range that was saved by Nick Pope, and a well-hit free kick that struck the post. Chelsea's Willian meanwhile produced an impressive tally of six attempted assists for the second game week running. That was at least two more than any other player so far in game week 34, and thankfully this time he was rewarded with an assist. Jesse Lingard was brought on at half-time by Jose Mourinho as an attacking change to replace Ander Herrera but he was unable to find the target with any of his three efforts at goal against West Brom. Jamie Vardy got the only goal within the squad so far this game week, but that actually lost us points, with two Burnley defenders losing their clean sheet as a result. Ashley Barnes was slightly unfortunate not to pick up an assist for his role in Burnley's opening goal, where he played the initial through ball for Chris Wood, who needed a rebound to eventually find the back of the net. Finally, Romelu Lukaku didn't have much service against West Brom, but the Belgian had United's best chance of the game, when his header forced a big save from Ben Foster. So it's been a disappointing start to the double game week, with only 36 points on the board so far. But with another round of fixtures and potentially 15 more players to play, there's still time for things to turn around. So now let's take a look forwards to game week 35, where we'll be activating the free hit chip to navigate through the blank fixtures. There are a number of strong contenders for the goalkeeper spot, and with the free hit chip in play, all of these players are subject to change, but for now it's Jordan Pickford lining up between the sticks. Everton have conceded just once over their last two matches against Liverpool and Swansea, and only West Brom have conceded fewer big chances over the last four matches, during which time Everton have faced league leaders at Manchester City. Man City and Liverpool are likely to be the favourites for a clean sheet, but it may be preferable to prioritise their midfielders and forwards, since the two teams are joint first for goals scored over the last four matches. Hopefully we'll get a leaked Liverpool lineup prior to the deadline, but for now Andy Robertson makes the team, since he offers threat at both ends of the field. Liverpool have kept clean sheets in three of their last four games, more than any other team in the league during that period, and the left back has produced two assists in that time. Patrick van Onhal is another defender who offers attacking potential, having scored two goals in his last six matches, and registering five efforts on target over that period, more than any other defender. His game week 35 opponents are Watford, who've scored just three times in their last four matches. Only Huddersfield and Swansea have scored fewer in that time. Finally, Moritz Bauer is a man who could find his way into the team, after starting in a right midfield position for each of his last three outings, against Arsenal, Spurs and West Ham. He's produced two efforts at goal, with one hitting the target over that period, as well as three attempted assists. Stoke was slightly unfortunate not to come away with three points against West Ham, after putting in another well-organised defensive display, and if they are to have any hope of avoiding relegation, they'll need to find a win over Burnley in game week 35. If he's in the starting lineup, Mohamed Salah looks a certainty for any free hit team, for Liverpool's trip to West Brom. His seven FPL involvements over the last four game weeks is at least two more than any other player has managed. Currently, we're going with a double up on Man City midfielders, with Raheem Sterling and Kevin De Bruyne making the team. No player has been involved in more big chances than Sterling over the last four game weeks, so the England midfielder is very likely to feature in the final free hit team. 
De Bruyne is slightly less convincing as an FPL option, with only one FPL involvement in his last six appearances, but no player has produced more attempted assists than the Belgian during 2018, and only Deli Ali has created more big chances in that time. There are a number of options for a cheaper fourth midfielder, Stokes Jordan Shaqiri, Everton's Theo Walcott, and of course the out of position Marko Anatovic. However, Wilfred Zaha just edges them for a place in the team as things stand, having provided FPL returns in each of his last three matches. His 12 shots over the last four game weeks is level with Anatovic and Eriksen, only Sterling and Salah have taken more. It's a strong front three to complete the team, and once again we'll be hoping for some early Liverpool team news to ensure that Roberto Firmino is in the starting lineup against West Brom. An update from Pep Guardiola regarding Aguero will also be important information, before deciding whether Gabriel Jesus is likely to keep his starting place for the home encounter with Swansea. He's provided returns in each of his last three starts, including a goal and assist against Spurs last weekend. Finally, the inform Aubameyang returns after selling him to Romelu Lukaku for double game 34. He's provided returns in each of his last five games, with five goals and two assists over that period ahead of Arsenal's home fixture against West Ham. There are a few contenders for captaincy. If there is a leaked Liverpool lineup and Mohamed Salah is set to start, it will be hard to ignore the Egypt international as a captain option, but with the Champions League coming up, there is a potential for him to get limited minutes. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang is another strong contender, but the concern with Arsenal remains the fact that they're likely to use a heavily rotated squad, similar to the one which was beaten by Newcastle last game week. A Man City player is an alternative shout for captaincy, although rotation is the concern there, now that the league is wrapped up. You'd expect them to field a fairly strong side to celebrate the title win at least, so Raheem Sterling could be one to consider, with his high involvement in big chances.